New at five, a man who traveled thousands of miles to receive treatment for COVID-19 is back here in Central Florida. Robbie Walker had to go all the way to Connecticut because he could not find the life-saving machine needed to receive treatment here. As West Jews Michelle Meredith reports, he says he felt like he was in the medical twilight zone. Robbie Walker is a COVID survivor. The Florida man is still recovering. Not unusual. What is unusual is the path Robbie's COVID journey took him over 1,000 miles north to Connecticut. Robbie and his family live in Citrus County, Florida's west coast. In July, he got COVID and he got it bad. You said you don't remember anything. Fortunately, no. <laughs> Susan says it got so desperate he needed a special machine called ECMO. It pumps oxygen into your blood. They called all over Florida, the U.S., trying to get him into a hospital with the machine. And then what would happen? We would get denied. So um, Why? Why? Um, they said because he had been innovated too long. We Susan says then a doctor all the way in Hartford, Connecticut, saw a story posted on Facebook. St. Francis Hospital said, come on. I would have rather seen my husband um, die fighting and have a fighting chance than for him to just slowly pass away. So it was my Hail Mary. His time at St. Francis was dicey. Next, he was transferred to Gaylord Specialty Healthcare, where he spent a month of rehab, lost 50 pounds. He was weak. For him to wake up and, you know, all these things happened to him when he just felt like he had just fallen asleep, you know, the, the, that morning or however soon he felt like that took place was um, traumatizing. <laughs> When it was time for Robbie to leave, he got a big send-off from the doctors, nurses, staff working in both hospitals in Connecticut, then traveled back to Florida in an RV. He's happy to be alive, happy to be home, happy to be with his family. The facility, the people, the doctors, the nurses. Very compassionate. And grateful to his new family, his medical family, in Connecticut. Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Robbie was not vaccinated at the time that he got COVID. He will get his second COVID shot on Friday.